Ain't this what they've been waiting for? You ready? Uh, uh. I used to pray for times like this, to rhyme like this, so I had to grind like that, to shine like this. In a matter of time, I spent on some locked up in the back of the paddy wagon, cuffs locked on wrist. See my dreams unfold, nightmares come true. It was time to marry the game, and I said, yeah, I do. If you want it, you gotta see it with a clear eye view. Got shorty, she try and bless me like I said I chew. Like a sneeze, please for them trick and squeeze. I'm getting cream. Never let them Ooh. get in between of what we started. Look, but I'm lying hearted. They love me when I was stuck and they hate it. When I departed, I go and get it regardless. Draw like I'm an artist, no crawling. Went straight to walking with foreigns in my garages. A foreign menage. You sucking and swallowing anything for a dollar. They tell me, get him, I got him. Got him. I did it without an album. I did it for Mariah. Love the I'm on fire. Hold up, wait a minute. Y'all thought I was finished? When I bought the ass tomorrow, y'all thought it was winning? Flexing on him. I'm like Papa on his finish. Double M, yeah, that's my team. Rose the captain, I'm lieutenant. I'm the type of can of men cast and grind like I'm broke. That Lambo, my new she don't ride like my ghost. I'm riding around my city with my hands on my toes. Cause these want me dead, and I gotta make it back home. Cause my mama need that bill money, my son needs some milk. These try to take my life, they f around, get killed. You f around, you f around, you f around, get smoked. Cause these Philly f I bought with me, don't f around, no joke. No, all I know is murder. When it come to me, I got young that's rolling, I got throwing bees. I didn't get the DOA, I didn't get the KODs. Every time I'm in that bitch, I get the throwing 30 G's. But now I'm hanging out that drop head, I'm riding down no collars. They let me earn back home, that young be wild. We young we mob it, like Batman and we're robbing. This two door made back with my seat on reclining. I'm like, real, what up? Real, what up? If you ain't about that murder game, then shut up. If you dip me in your ass, I get your pussy stuck up. When you touch down in my hood, no, that toy life ain't good. Catch me down in MIA, and that heat game on wood. With that put my life on my feet, like that little engine I could. Boy, I slide down in your block, back on 12 o'clock. And they be throwing deuces on the same. They watch, and I'm the king of my city cause I'm still calling them shots, and these lanes talking that boy, the same, that flop, I'm the same, from first to with them that raised that lot, the same, that came up and I had to wait for my spot, and he's playing on me. Uh, growing up, my dream was always uh, to be an NFL player, you know, uh, some people laugh at you when you tell them your dreams, or when a teacher asks what you want to do, you tell them that some people laugh at you, but uh, no matter what, I always stuck with it. I always tell myself I'm going to be an NFL player. So uh, I just put that grind in. Like, whatever whatever your dream is, you got to chase it. You got to put everything into it. Like, ain't nothing going to be given to you. You got to go all the way. You got to go hard. You got to put in that extra work, that behind the scene work, all that mess. You got to focus up, all that club party stuff. That stuff going to be there. But if you want to chase your dreams, you got to go all the way at it. So, like, being from KC, you know, people don't really make it out to the big leagues like other states. But uh, I was determined, and I put in all that work behind the scenes, and it, it paid off. When they needed motivation, I gave them hope. When my so I uh, went, didn't go D1. So my dreams, I, I still was, I still was with it. I was like, I can still go to the NFL from D2. You gotta put in that work. They, they, they recruit you. No matter where you at, they gonna see you if you're doing your thing. So going D2, it was, uh, it was, it was a good thing for me. A good program. I went into the right system. Uh, Pittsburgh State University, we won, our we won the championship the, uh, my first year there, so that was good. Got me recognition. Then we had a guy before me to go to the league, uh, John Brown, receiver for the Arizona Cardinals. So that definitely helped uh, give me looks. But uh, it was an awesome program. I love my coaches out there. And uh, like at Pittsburgh State, in the cold weather, anything, you got to put in the extra work behind the scenes, and I stayed with it with some brothers there that helped me uh, do that. So, you know, in the inner city, we, we just we just play ball. We don't really know too much technique, or you might be on YouTube hour, all hours of the night looking for technique and stuff like that. Because, you know, we ain't really taught it. So, um, the technique definitely changed from high school to college, college to NFL. I had a guy older than me at Pittsburgh State. He uh, named Graylin Sanders. He taught me a lot as far as my inch technique that I use to this day. Then going uh, going to the Chiefs, uh, our secondary coach Al Harris, former uh, Green Bay Packer, uh, his pre the press, press technique he taught me was phenomenal and it's still stuck with me to this day. 
So uh, that technique there, it, it, it gets me going. Like I, can, I feel like I can guard any receiver out there. If it wasn't for my brother Javon, I probably wouldn't be here. Cause like when you're chasing your dream, when you're doing it by yourself, it can get tough. But when you're doing it with somebody else, when somebody's there to help you, it, it'll make the process much easier. So he was always there to throw me the ball, throw routes to me, or just anything. So that was definitely beneficial. If I didn't have that, you know, I probably had to have some imaginary such and such to help me. So him being there, whenever I wanted to get up, get out the house, and throw me routes or just anything was definitely beneficial. It was always great playing with my brother. Um, he was always a big motivation for me. Um, uh, he was He's a year older than me, so um, he was able to be on varsity before me. Uh, I was still in middle school when he was, in, uh, of course, a freshman in high school, and I would go to his, uh, his varsity games and things of that nature. And um, he, uh, he was always a receiver, so he needed someone to uh, throw the ball to him. So that um, kind of created me as a quarterback. And um, we would go outside all the time, practice on our routes, things of that nature. And um, I actually became on varsity my junior year, and he was a senior. So that was really the first time in high school where we got the chance to you know play with one another. And um, the season went pretty well. Um, I threw him some you know some touchdowns, and it was just great you know having that connection on the field with my brother in high school. And to be honest, it still feels unreal. You know, um, people ask me that a lot. You know, how does it feel to have your brother play in the NFL? Uh, to me, it just feels unreal, you know. Uh, I still can't believe it to this day, but, you know, we're all proud of him, you know. His supporters, family, of course, are, are proud of him. Um, everyone at home is proud of him. It's just great to see him, you know, playing at that level because um, he's always been a solid guy, stand-up guy. Um, he's a great uh, motivator, and um, he's um, someone that everyone can, you know, get some things from and look up to. So. Play action from Boykin. Nearly set. Able to get it up, but it's intercepted. And Kansas City gets it right back. His starters and his backups in the secondary. Watch this catch as Bosby, ball slightly thrown behind Williams. Programs like EAS, where you try to get uh, instill in the U, the uh, proper technique and everything, you know, it can take them, it can take them on far and beyond like so if you know the technique at a young age you putting good reps on film and you get recruited by bigger schools and all that like i said i probably went i probably got scholarships off of athleticism but if i was displaying proper technique on film ain't no telling where i would have went so uh, programs like eas is phenomenal it's definitely beneficial to the youth get them going at an early age then by the time they were i'm at they'll, they'll be accepted.